Morning, Mike. Morning, Mike. Morning, Mike. Morning, Mike. Morning, Mike. <laughs> Morning, Mike. Morning, Mike. Disappeared and vaporized into a cloud <laughs> of his own keyboard dust. I like that font, actually. I guess I could hide in the corner or something. Yeah, like and that. unfortunately, there was basically one less room than we needed for everyone to have their own space. You know, we thought it would be fine for me to work in the main kind of hangout room, uh, but Deb was like right upstairs tracking his stuff, and it was it was just a bit too loud. I actually ended up like pinning my headphones until I gave myself tinnitus. I kind of hung out and did like social media stuff until and just like prep work until Ryan was done uh, his tracking and then I moved to the live room. Woe is me and hung out in this beautiful room tracking my stuff. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so Mike's on the screen there because he's out doing lights for another gig right now. And uh, when, uh, when Dave would be the left hand, Mike would be the right hand. And, uh, and uh, they end up clapping. <laughs> Sometimes, awesome. sometimes we miss. The, That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't made like a, like a fort out of pillows. <laughs> surprised he hasn't booby trapped the the like path leading up to his little cave. Yeah. <laughs> Go out to see how he is and just like fall in a pit. Yeah. I finished electrics and moved on to acoustics and uh, kind of forgot he was in there, but. <laughs> Oh, Mike, you're playing. No. Mike. 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 Marco! Hi, guys. Hi. You're going to have to keep something up here in some uh, Sweet. You have to calm it down, sir. Is it is it just because I was like rocking out too hard, and if I just like well, I can hear the, make the keys. A lot of noise? If you don't play keys, then. Uh... But like, will you hear this? No. And you could hear the clacking of the the keyboards and the smashing of the spacebar coming through these beautiful uh, ribbon microphones and stuff, picking up all of this smattering in the back corner of the room, emanating from my beige void. You just have to sit there and not do anything. Yeah, sorry man, thanks. We had to boot him out. I don't think he was super stoked, but. As Dev went into the control room to work with Nolly, uh, I went up to Dev's room, which was not too shabby, and got to work out there with a nice view of the city, and it's pretty sweet. You're gonna make us look really cool, right, in this documentary? <laughs> Are you, are you kicked out again? Zero. And I'm just gonna read no, out. No, Dev, sorry. I want to, though. Oh, all? My, my no, no <laughs> nylon. Come on, no nylons. No. Um, so, but we need to shoot something. Dave's got a sushi thing. Right. Oh, sorry. Uh, Beef. Beef. Dave's got his crop and gaw. What, what, what's your deal, man? You're not... uh, I don't really have a deal. I don't think right now. My favorite things are technology and music and, and then the bigger questions in life, but there's only so much time you can spend in a day dwelling on that stuff without being a party pooper, so. Um, so, but we need to shoot something. Right. What if we just go to the beach? Yeah. So this episode would be cool, but it'll be very like emotive because we'll have that like little piano y stuff. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Mike. I consider myself primarily a musician, but lately I'm evolving to consider myself more of like an experience producer. Always just kind of trying to figure out the main reason for existing. I'm currently recognizing and dealing with a lack of balance in my life because I'll be getting super frustrated about the Dadaists and Brian Eno and all the like cultural and appropriation and uh, reggae and like anti-propaganda and all this noise bleeding. I always like Shriekly and Beastly from the Care Bears. Yeah. So. 
I don't know whether it's a keyboard that I'm using. There's a bit of like a higher, just kind of nauseating hum that happens. It's the bane of my existence currently. I like the digital world, it's just super noisy. It's hard to get a clean signal. For me right now, I'm trying to consciously go out and not work, but it's tough because I've got all these things I want to do, so. Ah, I mean, I go to art galleries, try to go see bands play. I'd love to see more interesting multimedia installations. I've been meditating a bit. Or maybe I'm just like trying to get rid of something that isn't there. But that's the thing, you're like, oh, all this noise, if I could just make it clear, it'd be okay. And then you get that clear signal and you're just <laughs> like, wow, this void is just heavy. Now what? And that's it. I usually drink too much. <laughs> That's the best summation of Mike I've ever seen. Man. Yeah, I just love it. <laughs> Actually, caught him in his element. <laughs> totally. That's, That's him. I love he's talking about the infinite void, and there's close up on brass nipples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>